guess I was drawn to all the experiences you can get out of photography. And there's a certain loneliness in being a photographer that I liked also. Like you're just like out on your own finding the images and you meet all these people. You basically meet any kind of level of society when you do photography. It's just you and the camera most of the time. But a lot of the times it's a feeling or almost like a glimpse of an image. The work is very much about a feeling that I have. I always spend a lot of time like over editing work, almost like a sense where I wouldn't accept the photograph just to be a photograph. I wanted to be something else or I wanted to sort of escape its origin almost. Like a photo session can be anything from 20 minutes to an hour and that 20 minutes to an hour can turn into two years of work. It's a material that I need to get in my computer and I basically don't care how that's happening. For me, the creativity is happening in the post-production or forming the image afterwards. This is a picture from uh, <clears throat> one of my first uh, works called Wrong. Basically, this is the, the area I sort of uh, altered and uh, it's a balance between you know, keeping the reality and then changing the image. I started out as a newspaper photographer and I was 16. In a way, it taught me how to set up an image and then make it look like it's a real event. This is my computer station. And this is where I do all my post-production. And basically where you guys are standing is where I photograph. Which is uh, a piece of clay that I worked on. I just basically went out, I got a piece of clay and I scratched it up a little bit and it dried. And then I photographed this bald guy that I know. It's a mix between the clay and him. I think the work I'm doing now is like being a lazy photographer, but because I'm not really interested in going out and interacting with reality, I just want everything to happen here in my office. It's my piece of clay. I love it. It's all photographed here. This is it. That's the piece. I think this is my third time in the photo issue. I think the Vice photo issue is great because there's always like nice photography in it. It's amazing how many good artists you can draw to that issue. I had a meeting with Christian, the photo editor, and I think basically they asked me what I wanted to do for the Vice photo issue. I said I would like to do a collaboration with Roger Ballen. like one of my uh, favorites and I always admire him so I was super uh, pleased when he agreed to do the collaboration and so the process was that I photographed images that I worked on that I manipulated and I sent them to him and he did drawings like cutouts this was what I sent to uh, sent to Africa and this was what came in return as an artist, you're so isolated, you know, if you can find someone you look up to or trust in a artistic way, something amazing can happen. I was always fascinated about America, but the way I moved here, I was like, I was given like a work permit and I moved here and I had no clue how long I wanted to be here for, and now it's been six years. I live in uh, Chinatown, New York. The things that's going on in Chinatown that I don't understand, and I still don't understand. I've been here for four years. I don't understand like the gestures. I don't understand the language. You know, there's something appealing about being put in this like state of mind where you don't understand it because it can, for me at least, it can open up new ways of thinking almost, or like, I guess this maybe relates to the work I do. Mm -hmm. 
I use different models in a piece. So in the sense that I have someone who is really flexible and then I have other ones that has really good, like ni nice skin texture. Today, um, I'm gonna have a model come in and we're gonna do um, a photo shoot. She's basically just gonna come in and, and do uh, some posing and then I'm gonna photograph. I, I don't really know what's gonna come out of it. Uh, I have sort of an idea, it's gonna be related to this. Come in. <laughs> this is the area I'm gonna photograph in, so I'm just gonna tell you, you know, like possible ideas for poses. I mean, a lot of times, like, these kind of things work, you know? In that process, I just photograph everything I see. It's not like a normal photo session, I would say, because I'm not really to photograph their face, first of all. I'm just there to photograph their flexibility. Oh, very good. I like this. All right. I would say, without sounding too arrogant, I may be the only one who sort of knows what's going to happen with the material afterwards. Okay, I think that's it for today. Now I'm gonna shoot some plates um, for the piece and it's gonna be uh, my own arm because it's a really good arm. I have beautiful veins. I mean, it could be anyone shooting these images and just giving them to me and I could just work on them. The creativity is happening in the post-production. That's where I initially become like critical about the forms and shapes. So I'm just getting your arm, right? Not You're just getting the arm and I just, I'm interested in this like yeah. stuff going on here. Do I have favorite images? I happen to have them here. Very convenient. I sort of like, more and more like the ones that doesn't have any reference to the human body. You have to think organically. You can't just take, photograph something. Like this part, I can't flip over to this side. It needs to be consistent with the light. This part up here is something that's repeating a lot, especially in this piece. And that comes from myself. I don't think like a photographer anymore in the sense that I know what a perfect photograph looks like. But for this work, it's, it has way more to do with the shape and form that I'm working with. I think I became tired of that process, having to chase down an image. I just wanted to have like a hundred percent like creative time happening in my studio.